What's up, family? I have a surprise for you. A really big surprise. Today, I'm taking every single one of you, and I mean you, to the Red Flags Water Park. Woo! We're going swimming. We're going swimming. So grab your swimsuit, your sunblock, and your bounciest beach ball, and get ready because we're about to have the absolute best day of our whole entire life. Wait, what? What was that, Mr. Manager, sir? Wait, I'm not going to the water park? But the family's still going, right? No, the family's not going neither. But why? Too expensive? Oh, man. Family, I guess we're not going to the water slides anymore. If the big boss says no, the big boss says no. I guess we can still fill up our bathtubs and swim in there. Oh, it's not the same thing? Oh, right, right. I, I didn't want to do that either. But what's up, family? Welcome back to Anything Alexia. My name's Alexia, and today we're going to be looking at the craziest, most unique, and dangerous water slides that you have ever seen in the whole world. These water slides should not exist because they spooky. But before we start today's video, I need you all to smash that like button as hard as you can and only smash like if you want your family to take you to a water park before summer's over. Our first water slide today is from Japan and it starts off like a very normal slide. You wouldn't think much of it, but then boom, you end up going into a red beam of light that reminds you of a sauna or that you're in a giant pool of ketchup. Oh, but it gets crazier. That pool of ketchup turns into a flaming hot Cheeto and then a twizzle lollipop and a blue one and then a green one and then a yellow one and all of the colors, okay? It's really trippy. All these colors kind of remind we have a game of Dance Dance Revolution. Except instead of dancing with my feet, I'm shaking my peach. Because I'm sliding down on my bum. You know what I mean? This slide is definitely not good for people who don't like flashing lights. Especially since you're fully enclosed in that tube. And nobody could help you even if they tried. Uh, excuse me, ride conductor, sir. I really don't like these flashing lights. It's kind of giving me a headache. Wait, what? What's that? I can't hear you. Music up? More flashing lights? More water in the tube? All right, this next slide is really cool because not only do you get a regular water slide experience, but when you get to the bottom, the slide turns into a lazy river that literally goes through an actual ocean. So you get to see all these really cute fish without having to touch their weird slimy scales because you're fully enclosed by a glass wall. I mean, I know you think it's cool to see all these fish around you, but did you ever stop and think what these fish think about seeing you? They probably see this odd looking glass sculpture with these weird looking human things in it. They probably like, dang, what are those things? Are those aliens? Cause they sure be looking funky. And I know I'm separated from a glass wall, but why do those things smell so bad too? And talk about the way that they move. Why is it so awkward? They don't know how to swim. That ain't how you do the front crawl. Stupid alien human things. They never learn. This next slide was one of the tallest water slides in the whole world. It's called Verrucht, and it means crazy in German. Because after you look at that thing, it would take somebody pretty psycho to ride down it. I know I wouldn't. Maybe you, family, because we know you're a bit... Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Just saying. Even looking at this slide just makes my tummy sore. It's so high, so steep, so scary. The slide used to be in Kansas City for two years until there was a very big accident on the slide and somebody actually, ooh, ooh. the people went so fast down the slope that the raft actually lifted up into the air and a poor boy's head ended up hitting a pole and pretty sure you know what happened after that. I mean, water slides are fun and all, but I think I'd rather keep my head on my body today but that's just me the family of the poor boy ended up getting 20 million dollars and the ride was later shut down for safety reasons obviously see family this is proof that bigger is not always better unless you're talking about chocolate bars that's the only exception Okay, this slide by far looks the absolute coolest. It's called the King Cobra Slide in New Jersey, USA. And it looks like a freaking snake. And no, I'm not talking about your ex-boyfriend. I'm talking about an actual snake. You know, like... 
snake snake. Still not as sneaky as your ex-boyfriend, though. This slide actually has two different slides that are right beside each other, and they're supposed to be dueling slides to go down and do a race? I mean, can't say I've ever been excited to be inside of a snake skin before, but if it means I can beat my daddy in a water race, get bragging rights, and maybe win 20 bucks, then I'm all for it. s s s sorry dad. I'm winning. You can slide your way out of here, and I'm not waiting for you to do that because you're too slow. So when you get to the actual bottom of the slide, you enter the snake's head, and that head is one giant circle that you just spin around in, and eventually fall down and get to the end of the slide. All that spinning in the snake's head, wouldn't that give him a headache? Or do snakes not have brains? Too many questions. This one is called the Master Blaster, and you can find it in Dubai. It might look like a regular water slide from the outside. Couple turns here, couple turns there. But this family is the very first water slide in the whole world to make you go uphill. Yeah, that's right. You don't go downhill. You go up. Ask me how I don't know. But do we want to try it? Obviously. My mommy always told me to be successful in life, you always got to go up, not down. So I'm going to tell her today that my first step to get in my life together is going on this water slide. Then she can't tell me no. It's for business. This next slide is every gamer's dream. You go down the slide and it seems pretty normal. Mm -mm -mm. It's a video game built into a water slide. Don't tell me you've ever seen that before. Because I know you'd be lying. Each raft that you're sitting on when you go down the slide has different buttons on it. The remote control. And based on the different flashing lights that you pass through in the tube, depends on what buttons you gotta press at the same time with your controller. If you under a blue light, press the blue button. If you under a a red light, press the red button. And if you're under a red and blue light at the same time, then maybe press the button for 911 because I think the police are after you. Uh oh, that ain't good. This slide even tracks your score as you go down, and then when you're done the ride, you get to see how well or really bad you did on the leaderboard. Some might think that's a nice touch, but personally, I don't like it. You're telling me you want to see your name last on the list every single time? Because I'm I'm telling you, family, that would be me. Some are good at cooking, some are good at video games. And speaking about myself, I'm good at neither. Mm. This water slide even got so popular that they ended up doing full on tournaments for it. Yeah, like the winners full on got plastic trophies if they won. Tell me that ain't cool. I know you could probably find those plastic trophies at the dollar store for $1.99, but it's just so much cooler if it comes from the park. This slide is located in the Bella Bellissima country of Italia. Italy! Not only are they known for their delicious food, beautiful scenery, crazy people, oops, but they're also known for this really flipping cool water slide. It's located on a cliff in Sicily, and it might look like one giant really high slide, but it's actually three or four different slides set up really close to each other. You got level one, you got level two, you got level three, and then once you reach level four, you're in the water. And if you don't know how to swim, sorry, I guess you's a goner. Cause Italians only hate one thing more than they hate people taking away their food. And that thing is having to save somebody drowning cause it's taking them away from time eating their food. You know what I mean? This next slide looks like a blow up bouncy castle from a kid's birthday party or an odd shaped transformer. I can't really tell which one. All I know is that doesn't look like a typical water slide. And to be honest, I don't trust it. You're telling me you're gonna trust your safety on something that looks like it can pop from a needle in any second? <laughs> Yeah, nice try. I wouldn't go on that thing if somebody paid me. Well, depends how much. Talking $5 here, $20. Are we talking 100 If it's 100 I'll reconsider. This next slide is on a cruise ship, and how it works is that you stand on a trap door, and then suddenly that door that you're standing on falls down from under you. And then since the floor falls, you fall too into this odd-looking space tube thing that even does a loop-de-loop. -loop. I don't know if they're on a cruise ship at this point or going straight to the future or space to say hey to Elon Musk. Either one pretty cool. And speaking of really cool things, family, this ginormous water slide in Mexico has so many twists and turns and twists and turns that you'd think you'd be eating one of those cyclone lollipop. Except I don't think it would taste as good. I'm gonna take sugar and ice over uh, chlorine and water any day. Ugh. Is it just 
just me or does this water slide remind you of one of those spinny light bulb things? And I don't even want to think about if I had to go down this slide. Oh, get me a bucket because your girl's gonna get dizzy and you're gonna find some other kind of liquid in that slide. That ain't water. <laughs> You know what I mean? I love water slides just as much as anybody else does, but if it means I have to do as many twists and turns as a ballerina practicing how to dance, then I think I would just become a ballerina. At least I would stay dry that way. But anyways, family, that is all of the water slides that need to be shut down. If you liked today's video, don't forget to smash that like button as hard as you can. And if you want to join our amazing family, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button, turn on all post notifications, and then you won't miss any of our videos. I love you all so much, and I'll see you all in the next video.